Hey guys, in this video I want to show you two ways how I'm able to place a buy uh, buying stocks using the TD Ameritrade API. So I want to do a buy limit um, and also a stop buy. And I am using the uh, TDA uh, API wrapper created by Alex. Um, if you Google TDA API uh, slash API, you'll find it. Um, but particularly, you will also need to authenticate, um, get a API key from TDA Ameritrade um, from their developer website. So also, you need to have a TDA uh, Ameritrade account. And if you go on Google uh, and you look for TD API, uh, I thought I had it here. Apparently, I didn't. TD Ameritrade API. I use this one by Part-Time Live to create my authenticating uh, client uh, using Python. So this one right here in particular, I suggest you look at this as a prerequisite to then placing orders. The only thing that the, again, we're using a wrapper by another guy and his documentation has been updated. So the latest one that he has, it wasn't able to work for placing order. And that's what I want to review with you guys now. So this would be the first part to do, uh, authenticating, getting your API key, getting everything set up. Once you have that, then um, you can watch my video and I'll go through the placing order. So here, if I go to the TDA API documentation, um, he has a simplified order builder um, because the TDA Ameritrade uh, documentation could be a little bit confusing but we'll we'll look at that because we would he doesn't have a stop order or a few more complicated particularly one stop order that I want to use uh, so we'll copy this uh, the only issue here and I'll show you guys now once I copy it actually I have most of this already authenticating client creation I have that here as my first statement and I guess this is a token path that was created when I authenticated and then my API key that I that I obtained when I created my TDA app. I'll copy this. I just need to change this to C. Here in his documentation he's missing the account information. So your thinkorswim or TDA Ameritrade account information. Uh, you will need that in here. So I'm gonna pull up my Thinkorswim so that we can see it. Once I run the script, you'll see it activate here on my Thinkorswim desktop app. So, but basically, I have my my account information as a variable. I hope I do. I thought I did. And uh, here we go. I got it up here. I got it up here. So I want to remove all of this. This is the So I have it as my account. Uh, so you would need your account information here. Whatever number your account is, three, two, one, whatever it is, you need it here and then a comma. And now you're able to use the equity buy limit that he has already created as a class here under the orders equities, as a method under the order equities. So here we just need to uh, state a symbol. In this case, Tesla, let's say for example, one stock. And I'm going to put a buy limit at what 449. 449. Everything else stays the same. Uh, this changes to C. And once I run it, I get a response to a one, which is a successful response. And you see here that I have entered a buy limit for one stock. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Again, the only difference between mine's and his documentation is that he is missing his account information and I had to somehow figure it, find online a few different things and then test a few things. And this is how it worked. Now, the other method is that he doesn't have an example for, for stop orders or, or stop limits or trailing. Uh, so for those, I am actually, uh, you can actually use the TD Ameritrade API uh, documentation where they have all, every every option available. So um, we don't 
we just need to worry about the order type here limit stop so I want to want to focus on stop and for the stop I need a stop price so let's go back uh, we could just get rid of all of this for this parenthesis and here we're going to enter order spec which is what TDMA trade calls this uh, I believe where is it just know that it's called the order spec somewhere else he explains it here on his documentation order spec I'm going to call this payload uh, this is where and then I'm just gonna create a variable payload and enter that information so if I go back somewhere here he has an example of one order spec for a normal buy limit I'll we'll just copy this and kind of use it um, in our case we want a stop here and here we will put our price at let's say 450 it's going to be buy we're going to be a stock for Tesla one and this actually has to be stop price and I believe that's it so if I minimize this and I run this I have a successful response and there is my now my stop buy so those are two methods one is a buy limit one is a stop one uses the um, built default or pre-built by this guy called Alex um, using a method here in the top and I think he has a few others uh, he has buy limit buy market sell market sell short and so forth but if you have something that it's not here because he doesn't have a stop order or trailing stop then you will have to use the longer method which is creating an order spec here uh, figuring out what are the the criteria, the variables um, that you need to uh, and then these are called legs here that might have more than one if you have like a OCO one order cancel another uh, and then uh, everything else fills in but for me I just wanted to worry about the stop the shorting the buy limit um, and buy market so these are two methods of doing it I hope this is useful uh, if you guys I'll appreciate it if you give us a uh, like subscribe to the channel I'm going to be doing a few more other videos where I'm gonna be linking th this code to a web app um, so more to come on this I hope this was useful let me cancel this before I leave that on for tomorrow and I'll see you guys in the next video